What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna showcase to you guys how you can convert shooting photos and videos with this to this. This is the Shift Cam Pro Grip with additional pro lenses. Let's dive in, unbox this, and see what this can do. So I ordered this kit around October 2020, so it's taken one whole year for it to actually arrive. So for me, I wasn't disappointed whatsoever. This is the Pro Grip, this is the Photography Pro Lens Kit, and this is the in-case lens mount. You need all of this to create the setup that you just saw, but essentially the entire kit that you see here costs $199. If you want the Pro Grip just on its own, it's $149. The latest pricing information, including all of the accessories that you can buy for the Shift Cam set is in the description below. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all of these and also showcase some example photos I've taken with both of these lenses. One is the 60 millimeter telephoto lens. The other one is the 18 millimeter wide angle lens. Now, one of the reasons I really wanted to try this out is to take my photography that I use from my iPhone to the next level. Of course, you can use this with Android phones as well. For me personally, it works best with iPhones. It's tailored a little bit more for that. But one thing I really like about this is that this is the most ergonomically designed and most comfortable grip for a mobile phone I've ever used. There's plenty of them on the market. If you go on Amazon, you can see a whole bunch of these, but just holding this makes it feel like you're holding a DSLR or mirrorless camera. That's the whole purpose of this set. Let me go in and unbox some of these things, show you how to set it up, show you some sample photos I've taken, and let me know what you guys think. So just starting off with the Pro Grip itself, for me personally, you know, this is so comfortable to have in your hand. This is a wireless charging plate as well. If you wanted to go out and get a full day's worth of photo shoots and videos, it's perfect to have a wireless charger inbuilt into the grip itself. So this is where the phone slots in. This actually rotates very easily and it is very solid to portrait mode. So you can quickly turn to landscape mode like this. Two buttons there, you have the Bluetooth connect button and the wireless charging on and off button there. It comes with this very nice strap to support your hand. You have the shutter button there, which is in a perfect position, making it ergonomically fit to your hand. There's also a 3 8 hole adapter there just at the top, so you can mount yourself any additional accessories. This does come with one, I'll showcase that in a second. Then at the bottom, you also have another screw there that you can also mount to maybe a tripod or anything like that. And then you also have the USB-C charging port there, so you can charge this for a power bank. To turn it on, I literally just hold the shutter button for a couple of seconds. You'll see the blue light here will indicate that it's gone into Bluetooth pairing mode. If you wanted to turn the wireless charger on, you press the button there and you'll see this is the battery percentage level of the actual Pro Grip. So right now it's around 100% as I fully charged it. It's very simple, it's very easy to use fits most phones, but if you have a very small mini phone, then this comes with a few adapters here that you can just place inside there, and then you just clip it into the holes at the top, just making it a little bit more of a tighter grip. This also comes with the USB-C to C charging cable. This is the cold shoe mount that you can place on the top and then mount something like a light, which I showcased at the beginning of this video. So that is very convenient as well. And one thing I don't really talk about much is the user manuals. You know, they've done a very good job with beautifully designed user manuals. I know something that a lot of people don't talk about, but for me, I was just so impressed with this. You know, it just comes with very easy to follow instructions, how to set it up. You know, you got discount codes. They really care about their customers and making sure everyone has all of the information they need without a lot of additional jargon interfering with whatever you're looking for. So for me, you know, I'm really impressed with that. So with the lenses, the first thing you need to do is mount the in-case lens mount. And it means in-case because you need to place this inside a case. Now if I do this, you basically just place it over the camera lenses of your iPhone, place the case over that, like so. So it locks this mount inside the case and it's pretty solid, compatible with most cases as well as it is very thin. Then you have the lenses. So you have yourself a microfiber cloth. So this is my 18 millimeter wide angle lens. Then this is the 60 millimeter telephoto lens. So I'm going to showcase some sample pictures using both of these, but just to show you how to attach it, it's very easy. This is the wide lens on the iPhone 12 Pro. 
this is the 23 millimeter one so i'll just screw that into there and essentially it converts that into a telephoto lens like so and then you can just use this for you know pretty much all of your photography if you really wanted to get up and close and it uses the primary wide angle lens on the iphone 12 to give you that super clear quality telephoto to 60 millimeter depth using the pro lens and one of the reasons why you would want to get a pro lens like this and attach it to your phone is because when it switches between the lenses on your phone itself they have different variations of quality as well so the ultra wide quality and the telephoto quality on the lens on the iphone 12 are different to then using the primary main lens on the iphone 12 pro which is of the highest quality converting that through a very high quality lens like this it utilizes the main quality lens and it's metadata so you can get the highest quality image possible including video recording using these additional lens attachments so that's pretty easy to do and then once you've done that you grab the pro grip you slot it into place like so very easy and you can be confident it's not going to shift out of place at any time and there you have that setup in this carry case you also get this this is a lens mount for anyone that has problems mounting the other lens mount behind a case or perhaps you don't even have a case this is what that will be useful for so if I just take this lens off for a second and let's say you don't have a case that suits this mount and it keeps adjusting then you have this additional mount that will pretty much fit over any phone any case and you tighten it by just screwing that on the front of course you would lose the visibility of one of the lenses as it covers it just on the right specifically for the iphone 12 pro but this is a quick and easy solution for those people who maybe don't have a case or they don't have the right phone or whatever it may be and you just want to place it on there and then remove it rather than leaving that mount inside the case at all times so it's great that they thought of various different options to satisfy all different customers another thing you can actually just place this as a stand like so and you can just have it on your bedside table, on your desk, and it becomes a very nice stand for your phone. It's got a 75 degree viewing angle, which I think is pretty nice. And you can also switch it between portrait and landscape. And that becomes a very nice way to watch videos on your phone. So it's so convenient to have. Use this as a power bank wireless charger. Not only that, there's even more capabilities of this. Let's say, for example, you want to charge your AirPods Pro. And you can do that by connecting the USB-C port on there and then charging your AirPods like so. So I think that's really convenient having the option to charge other devices using the USB-C port, which becomes 20 watt charging, or you charge your phone with the wireless charger at the same time using a 15 watt QI wireless charger inbuilt into the device. So this Pro Grip is so great. The last thing I wanted to do is just showcase to you guys is this cold shoe mount attachment that comes with it. So you simply will need to just open up this hole at the top and then you'll need maybe a screwdriver just to screw this in to the right position just make sure it's quite tight there we go and then now you have a cold shoe mark so you can play something like a light into there very easily tighten that there you go you now have an additional accessory so it doesn't even need to be a light it could be anything else that has a cold shoe mount on it could be a wireless microphone connected to your iphone as well so that is great to have the option of multiple different attachments shift cam also provide multiple different accessories as well if you wanted to check that out right so now that i've shown you guys all of this let's go ahead and take a look at some of the sample photos all right guys so the first set of pictures i'm going to showcase are the 60 millimeter telephoto lens now just remember both photos were taken using the wide main camera on the iPhone 12 Pro. One has the lens attachment, which is the right hand side picture. The other one doesn't have any lens attachment to it. So as you can see from the first picture, you know, I'm very impressed with this. You still see all of the details and you don't get that much of a loss of quality just because it has zoomed in a little bit. You know, the iPhone 12 Pro main wide camera is 26 millimeters in focal length and having that increase to 60 millimeter using the same quality lens of the iPhone 12 Pro, I think it's just done a great job. And here's a few more examples.
you know, so this really showcases the capabilities of these lens and how it gives you distortion free telephoto quality pictures. Now let's go a little bit in the other direction and check out the wide angle lens. So the ultra wide angle lens on the iPhone 12 Pro is 13 millimeters, but I'm using the 80 millimeter Pro lens, but don't forget it's on the 26 millimeter wide angle camera on the iPhone 12 Pro. So as you can see from the first picture, you don't really get that distortion of angles when you do go ultra wide. I think you get a lot more in the picture, but you still get a very top quality photo at the end of the day. Now here's a few more examples. You know, this is something that would be perfect for those people that want to get landscape photography or just a lot more in your picture than you do with just the main wide camera. Of course, a lot of people are happy enough, especially in very bright daylight conditions to use the inbuilt ultra wide lens on the iPhone 12 Pro. But if you just want to maybe target uh, things at a little bit more low lighting conditions, maybe in the evenings, then having that additional lens using the capabilities of the main wide lens on the iPhone 12 Pro is something that you really would benefit from. So for me, I'm super impressed. And the final test I wanted to do is the stabilization test. So I recorded a quick video clip using the Shiftcam Pro Grip and also just by using the phone handheld. And I'm walking on the sand because that is the most unstable surface and that will really test to see how shaky the footage is and I wanted to see how smooth it could be using a Pro Grip like this. Now, I know there's a lot of things that can help you stabilize footage. There's a lot of attachments, even tripods, but I just wanted to showcase to you guys quickly how much of a difference just by recording videos using this Pro Grip, it helps with stabilization. And you can see immediately just how smooth it is with the Shift Cam Pro Grip. And you know, I was walking exactly the same way on exactly the same sand. And for me, I was super impressed with this. So I'm holding the shift cam guys and I've got it into portrait mode. Just testing out the stabilization here on the beach. So I'm walking in the sand and the sand does make things a little bit shaky when you have a phone in your hand because you keep sinking into it. But overall, the grip is so nice. It's so much easier to hold the phone. And if I'm going to be taking selfies or vlogs like this, I think this is just great. And especially by having the wireless charging capabilities on it, you can pretty much use this all day long and you won't run out of battery. So for me, I'm really enjoying this nice little new gadget by Shiftcam. So that's it guys. Everything from the nice rubber silicone grips, the ergonomic design, how it just feels in your hand, how soft it feels, how easy it is to use and connect to your phone every time. This is the perfect grip solution for converting your phone, whether it's an iPhone or even an Android phone, to a DSLR mirrorless camera type setup with additional accessories like lenses. Even with our lens, this just works perfectly fine and you can just use this anywhere you go for your photography or your filming, easy to set up, or you just have it on your desk. You can use it as a power bank, a mount, just to place your phone on there. There's multiple different use cases for this. I think personally, it is well worth the price. They've done a very great job with this product. Any questions you guys have, as usual, make sure you drop them down below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. If you did like this pro grip, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. I have new videos out every week with cool gadgets like this. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those ones. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.